Hi everyone, I'm Robin Sewell. Famed journalist Andy Rooney once said, if dogs could talk, that would take a whole lot of fun out of owning them. <laughs> well, today we are taking you to the Verde Valley Dog Agility Course in Cottonwood, where no, the dogs are not talking, but they are exhibiting some amazing skills. These are not stupid pet tricks, folks. This is genuine four-legged fun, speed, and talent. Today, it's a dog day afternoon in Cottonwood. Okay, starting now, I promise I will try to refrain from the corny dog references. Welcome to the Verde Valley Dog Agility Club. Any kind of dog can run, any breed. We had a lot of different breeds that, that can run the agility course. The agility course is made up of a series of obstacles that the dog must do. Get over, get through, and get up in the fastest time possible. Jan Tomlinson trains dogs in agility, and she says dogs are like humans when it comes to competition. Sometimes they feel stress from being in the show because there is a lot of stress in a show setting. And then there's some days when they're just like us. They just are having an off day and it's like, well, I'd rather be home on the couch rather than doing this. Carrie Kurtz, whose dog Zipper competes, says sometimes it gets tricky. We are racing against the clock and it depends on the size of your dog and the yards of the course, and they measure it for the length of your dog's legs, because some of our dogs have much shorter legs than others. They all do the exact same equipment, but it is on, under the clock, and the faster you do it, the higher your score is. We're not permitted to touch the dog. That's part of the sport, <laughs> and it makes it very interesting. That's a lot of the training. It takes probably a solid year to um, get all those basics down where they're actually running all the way through a course and it's our job to actually guide them through the course without touching them. Dogs from the littlest to the largest take the challenge. And to quote Mark Twain, it's not the size of the dog in the fight, but it's the size of the fight in the dog. Whoops, I'm doing it again, aren't I? It just makes everything so much easier when you have trained your dog. Truckee, Susie McCallum's dog, is an agility champion. She says it's the training that makes Truckee such a good companion. Actually, I've done four or five dogs, one boxer and several Goldens, and then the little uh, Basset Hound. They all really can benefit from the skills that are taught in agility. Some of them really like it more than other dogs. But he's standing so regal yeah. there. Oh, he's very proud of himself, yes. <laughs> If you look at some of the dogs out here that are very energetic, they like to have fun, and um, they like to run with you. To be champions, dogs have to master speed and control on that obstacle course. Shetland sheepdogs, like Q, are high-drive dogs. So then what is a low-drive dog? I guess it depends on what you consider a low-drive dog. Jonathan Swift once wrote, that every dog must have his day. If that's the case, then today went to the dogs. Arizona Highways Television is brought to you by Arizona Public Service and the Arizona Office of Tourism.